As you gear up for this holiday shopping season, buyer beware, a new study lays out the risks of online shopping. Risk IQ is finding that nearly 1,500 fake apps associated with the term Black Friday actually contain malicious and fraudulent links to spam, malware, or phishing software. Joining us right now is Hotspot Shield security analyst Robert Siciliano. Robert, good to see you. Thanks so much for jo joining us. Good morning. Explain the threat. Does this number surprise you, all of these apps trying to get in our data? Yeah, it could actually even be more. Uh, and no, it's not surprising. Bad guys are finding more ways to get access to our personal information, credit card numbers, socials than ever. And so when you download an app that might look like it's coming from a major retailer, it might not be. And the links inside of it could lead you to ransomware, malware, scams that get your personal information like credit card numbers. Robert, Mitch Rochelle here. Are there any telltale signs when you get an email that looks on its face to be authentic? Are there any sort of telltale signs that you should be looking for that may indicate that it's really nefarious? Well, old school uh, scammer grammar, right? You know, misspellings and so forth uh, would be telltale signs. Stay out of your spam folder. Your ISPs, Internet Service Providers, are doing a really good job of filtering out that stuff. But once you're in your spam folder, a lot of it looks legit. As long as you're not there, generally you should be in pretty good shape. Robert, uh, it's Dagan McDowell. I see a lot of uh, even smaller retailers, banks, other financial services companies, they send out emails that are unclear, that uh, even uh, health care providers, and it, it raises an issue of these um, retailers and businesses need to do a better job at communicating with their customers if they're going to be sending out emails because a lot of times they look like spam quite frankly they look like phony emails yeah uh, you know some studies show that as much as 95 percent of uh emails today or you know scammy emails lead to ransomware which is a form of mm -hmm. malware Here's the deal. I don't generally click on links in the body of an email unless, unless I've just signed up for a brand new site and I have to confirm my email address. Otherwise, even statements that I get from my bank or credit card company, I'm not clicking the links in the body of the email. I go to my favorites menu or I use a password manager to access that information. You just cannot trust phishing you know, as is or email as is because of phishing uh, because there are just too many uh, ways in which people can get scammed and get viruses. It's John Layfield here. If you happen to get some something that, that looks legit and you click on it and then you realize as soon as you click on it that it was probably not legit. Is it too late at that point or is there anything you can do at that point or have they already got you? So as long as you are practicing basic cybersecurity hygiene, right, making sure your device's operating system is properly updated to its latest security patches, you know, uh, Service Pack 1 as far as Windows is concerned, having your latest operating system on your Android and iPhone and so on, having antivirus installed on Android, of course, uh, just like PCs, generally you should be in pretty good shape and not, you know, being susceptible to various cyber scams, whether they're over the phone, via email you should not have viruses as long as your PCs are properly updated is there Robert's Mitch Rochelle again my father-in-law is probably watching is a notorious email forwarder and often <laughs> what's in there is bad news um, protecting yourself in terms of being sort of reactive as opposed to proactive and operating some sort of a virus protection software in the background is there anything that you'd recommend out there for the regular you know PC or Mac owner See, that, all that stuff is, you know, 101, right? You know, as long as you have updated antivirus, updated, um, you know, uh, oh, and also wireless, like Wi-Fi. Uh, so if you're on public Wi-Fi, if you're on unprotected Wi-Fi, you need what's called a VPN, a virtual private network that protects all of your data when you're on unencrypted Wi-Fi, say, in a, a hotel, internet cafe, airport, and so forth. I, I work with Hotspot Shield, and they lock down your... Uh, wireless communications when you're on unprotected Wi-Fi, which is kind of a big deal. There are tools you can get out there for free or for a small fee that essentially will sniff all of your unprotected Wi-Fi communications, and that's a pretty you know, big risk, along with that recent uh, crack attack, which is a vulnerability in a lot of operating systems and hardware that uh, can easily sniff out even some encrypted Wi-Fi communications, which is why a VPN is so important today. And the threats are everywhere. I mean, we're talking about over a billion of the $9 billion in Black Friday sales last year driven by mobile apps, right? You have different tips for different platforms. Let's go to those platforms. Start with the iPhone. What are the tips? 
So with iPhone users, you don't have to worry about viruses so much. Uh, the iPhones themselves aren't really infected in that way, but still, users can be scammed, meaning you could click a link in a text message, you could click a link in the body of an email, and be led to a spoofed website, essentially that will uh, prompt you to enter your credentials, usernames and passwords, credit card information, socials, and so on. So just keep your you know, cyber scam awareness up, and as long as you're not clicking links where you're not supposed to, you're, and you're not entering personal information, you should be in pretty good shape on iPhones. How about the Android? Anything different there if you're using an Android? Yeah, so Androids are just as susceptible to malware, malicious viruses and so forth as PCs are. And most people don't know that you have to have antivirus on an Android phone. That's like a Samsung, an HTC and so on. So go to Google Play and look for antivirus in Google Play and download and install on your Android device. All right, we'll leave it there. Robert, thanks for the tips. Thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving, Robert Siciliano. To you joining too. us there. All right.